Hey guys, this is Renee. I'm finally, well actually I've been back from Europe for about a week, two week and a half, but I've been just, you know, uh, getting real life back on track. Um, so I went back to my job and, uh, you know, just organized some stuff, unpacked, that was not fun. Uh, so I wanted to make a video. Um, and I wasn't sure if my first video was going to be a haul video or call a card video. And I was actually just going to make a card, but I think instead I'm going to do a haul. Um, because I don't, I'm going out to supper in about an hour, so I don't really have enough time. So, let me, um, let me show you what I got. So, I didn't get much. But I did get a few things. The items that I got were not card making so much as they were um, fine crafts. So, or not fine crafts, art supplies. You know, like, you know, fine art. Um, also, that's probably going to be upside down, so fine art. Um, just one, yeah, one second. I bought a brush set, but I can't seem to find where I put it. These are two of the brushes from the brush set. And then I also bought this. Aha! Brush set. I also bought this, so I'm going to show you what I've got. I didn't get too much because um, Packing is a problem, and if you had two check bags, it was an extra hundred dollars. And I'd rather not spend my money on extra bags. So, the first thing I did, when I got there, I went on Amazon.co.uk, and they have a trial where you can get Amazon Prime for free. So I did that, because I wanted uh, to get some stuff shipped to me. So what I did was I bought this, uh, this is the St. No, not St. Peter, yeah, St. Petersburg, um, watercolor set. And it was 36 pounds, which at the time was just under, um, $76. And that includes tax, because that's how they do it over in, in, the UK, like England and Europe, when you see a price, it already includes the tax, which is nice. Um, so that was good. Now, the exchange rate wasn't great, but that still means that I paid 76 taxes included for this set. And these are artist quality. These are St. Petersburg, the White Knights set. So they are artists, as you can see, I have been using them. I just leave it there because you just re-wet them and you can use them. So I don't want to waste paint. Um, and this is the color chart. You can see that they are quite bright. They're very pigmented. Um, and very workable. Oh, they paint like a dream. In my very unqualified hands. So, um, the colors that you get, I'll just go over them really quick. I'm going from the top to the bottom and then left to right. My left. I don't know if it's going to be your left. But it goes from this corner to this corner. Okay? So we have ruby, English red, which is, you know, it's brown. Um, golden, raw sienna, carmine, matter lake light, yellow ochre, Mars brown, quinacridone rose, cadmium red light. Cadmium yellow medium. Now, cadmium, um, if you do buy this set, you, you know, don't stick your finger in and, you know, lick it, because, no, bad for you. Um, it's toxic. Which is why, another reason, you don't find those in kids' sets. You wouldn't find cadmium in a kids' set. So, anyway, uh, burnt sienna, quinacridone, lilac, Titian, Titian red, Hansa yellow, Burnt Umber, Violet, Golden Deep, Cadmium Lemon, Sepia, or Sepia, whatever, Azure, 
emerald green, olive green, umber, um, India thrine blue, I'm saying that wrong, turquoise, yellowish green, neutral black, indigo black, uh, cerulean blue, green, Payne's gray, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, uh, chromium oxide, and um, white, and I just didn't bother to paint that one because it's white and I'm probably not going to use it. Anyway, so that's this set. Um, it's really great. Let me just, I'm going to just go grab some of the stuff I've painted with it. I just, I just, I stick everything I paint, I just, I stick in this uh, landscape book. I don't actually use this book except it's really thick and so it flattens out my paintings. So I'm just going to close, and this is, oh, it closes up so great. The, the good thing is, this tray here is detachable, so it comes, it pops right off. Um, and so, the other thing is, if your paints here are a little bit wet, you shouldn't shut the entire thing, because they can get, you know, gross and moldy. But you can close this to prevent dust from getting in, because it has a gap, which means there's airflow. So you can just close that until it dries, and then you can close this all together. There's more mixing area over here, which I've never needed to use yet. So, that's that. Um, and the paintings that I've done with this are not that one. I did that one before. So I did this little chickadee with that paint set. I really like actually the way that came out. Um, although, I, I don't know, I was disappointed first. Um, but now that I've let it sit for a while, I do like it. And I also did... Actually, I didn't do... This set was the um, Yarka by St. Petersburg, which is a really cheap set, and you can see it's it's a nice set. It does flow well, but not, not as well as the St. Petersburg. Um, as the... Oh, what is it called? White Knight set. Then... Oh, no, that's uh, ink tints. Where's my other one? Where did it go? Oh, 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 I know. There it is. I also did some poppies. So, yeah. And this is done again with the White Knight set. I really like the way this one came out, too. Um, yeah. And then the last one I did with that set is this here. And this, um, these are Christmas bulbs. Um, I did, um, this is really, I mean, I had seen W plus nine, one of their videos. She did something just like this and I wanted to try it. And what I did, it's really easy. Um, the circles for the circles I used, oh, where are they? I'm super organized. Lies. Anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a circle die. So I used the circle die. I used the little B circle dies. I just traced it with a pencil and then I painted it in with paints and uh, then I just drew the lines in with a um, it's not a sharpie marker it's a Stedler pigment marker so these are waterproof um, and then I just splattered it with a little bit of red and it kind of faded because the blue was still wet so if you want strong red dots, wait till your paint dries. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I painted with that. Ha, okay. So there's hollyhocks right there, and I did this a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean uh, six months ago, evidently. Or maybe nine. January, I think it was. And then I tried again, because obviously, I mean, I wasn't happy with that. This is the same plant. This is the same. These are hollyhocks as well. And I like this a lot more than I like this. So what, yeah, so that was that. That's my haul from, that's one item I got. Then I also bought these, um, this brush set. This is just a cut up card um, that I use for scratching design or scratching details in. So this set here was uh, f 
for four. I think it was ten pounds, which means it was twenty dollars. You could definitely get these cheaper, but I needed to paint. I wanted to paint while I was over there, so I needed to buy some brushes, and so this is what I bought. So I have these, and I also. Um, at the same store, but at a later date, I bought this brush here, and this is a much nicer brush. And these, I think, were two pounds ninety-nine, which is about six bucks. So this is about twenty. And this is the Graduate series. These are nicer. Same brand, Dollar Rowney. These are good. These are fine. I like these. Uh, and they come in a little case, which is nice. Uh, so also, because I didn't have any paper while I was over there. I bought this right here, which is, this is really cool. This, Cast Art is the store I bought stuff at. Um, this is handmade from the Kadi Mill in South India. It's recycled cotton rag, so it's 100% cotton. Probably. And so then I just watercolored in this. And watercolors are so much nicer on cotton. It is so much easier to paint. So, these are what I've... Um, these are my water do now these are places I've seen on my trip um, this is the Colosseum so I went to Rome while I was over there and I dated it the 14th because I'm a moron um, and then this is also from Rome this is one of the ruins I believe this is Palatine Hill uh, this is Lavinum in England so this is an old town where it's it's a timber medieval timber village so the homes are all made out of timber. This one, I just I need to darken the windows in. But this is Ely Cathedral. And if you get the chance to go to England, you should check out Ely Cathedral. Go in the Octagon Tour. They take you up in this tower here. And it's really cool. Or maybe it's this tower. It's one of those towers. So that's it. Um, this is a really cool book. Um, another thing I got while I was over there... were these um, pins. So I got this pen set at Tesco and it was like, you know, three pounds. It's the Stedler Brilliant Colors. It's the fine liners. And they're 0.3 millimeters, so they're really, they're really fine. Um, let's see if you can't see. So it's quite fine. And these same brand, but these I got at the art store. That's what I used to draw the line on the bulbs. And these go from a 0.5, which is um, the thickness, you know, that's your normal lead thickness, right down to a 0 0.05. This is incredibly thin. And my biggest purchase there was this right here. And this right here is, I don't know which is way is which. It's Windsor and Newton. Um, and it's the artist quality, not the Cotman colors. And the reason I bought this was because it was a special buy. And what it came with, it's, it's pretty amazing what it comes with, actually. So you get the bamboo kit. You get the bamboo box. It's really nice and smooth. And then on the inside, you get the, Win the Windsor & Newton artist, artist watercolor paper. And this is mold, mold made. So this is the nice stuff. You probably can't see that texture, maybe? I don't know. It's really nice. Um, huh. Then you also get 12 of their 5 mil tubes of paint. These here, I checked the price in some of our, our art stores. These are 9 bucks a piece. These are expensive over here. Um, if I had realized how expensive they had these on for two pounds over there for sale, I would have picked up a few more colors. So you get 12 colors and it not, I know, eight bucks maybe. Maybe they're eight. Either way, it was a really good deal. You also got this porcelain, um, palette. And you can see there's a color in one because I just wanted to look at a color while I was over there. So I opened up this Windsor Blue Green Shade. Um, and paint started pouring out of it, so I had to put it in my palette. Um, what else do you get? You get this, uh, it's a putty rubber eraser. 
So you get that. You also get this texturizing sponge. And you get two paintbrushes. And these are the good quality ones. They're a little too small for what I like to do, although there's a nice size 4 here. Um, so these are pure sable. You also get a little rag for drying off your brush. And then you get the, uh, it's, I think it's, it's a water dissolvable graphite. So you could draw your design and then it dissolves when you paint. Uh, I haven't used that yet though. And I haven't really actually used this kit yet, so hopefully I'll get to use it soon. I keep using my White Knight one because I think I prefer the palette. But this hair was uh, 40 pounds, um, 45 pounds, which means it was about 90 bucks. The paints alone are worth more than $90. So this is a great deal. I'm so happy I bought it. Um, and hopefully I can use it to paint soon. So, that's actually all the crafting stuff I bought while I was over there, and um, I'm really glad to be back. I am catching up on videos, and hopefully, like I said, I can make that card kit soon. This is just a preview of what it would have been. These are the shapes that go on the card. I already made one, but I gave it away to a friend already, so uh, this is just from the dregs of the kit plus another stamp set. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Thanks for sticking around. This video is really long and I'm glad to be back. Bye-bye.